हेलो ऑल माय नेम इज कृष्ण नायक एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइस स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम टायर टू कॉलेज एंड टायर फ्री कॉलेज यू नो व्हाट इज द मैक्सिमम प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट दे कैन गेट इनटू डेटा साइंस यू नो दिस वाज द क्वेश्चन दैट वाज आस्क्ड बाय वन ऑफ माय सब्सक्राइबर एंड हिज क्वेश्चन वाज प्रीटी मच सिंपल ही जस्ट वाज सेइंग दैट कृष्ण इफ आई एम बिलोंगिंग टू अ टायर टू अ टायर थ्री कॉलेज व्हाट इज द स्टेप ऑफ प्रोसेस टेल मी दैट हाउ कैन आई बिकम अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट बिकॉज़ दे हैव हर्ड डेफिनेटली when i also passed out of my college which was a tier 3 college itself i got a job as software engineer you know and which people also they have a specific mindset where they actually say that no it is not possible if you go and ask someone you know they'll definitely say that it is not possible to become a data scientist or a data analyst so considering this problem this question that was asked by one of my subscriber I definitely want to tell you that how you can actually become a data scientist even though you are from a second tier or third tier college itself. Obviously in first tier companies come for placement they give huge package you know that does not mean that second tier or third tier have some kind of disadvantage. Yes initially just consider that oh, or, well I'll just discuss what is the step or process that you should definitely follow. so that you have an higher chances that you get a job with respect to analytics like a data analyst or data scientist or business intelligence developer anything it can be i mean majorly focusing into the analytics industry why because the average package is quite high when i passed out from a fresher the salary was somewhere on 3.25 lakhs per annum inr which in hand used to come somewhere on 20k and right now 20 to 25k is very very less because i know how many people takes education loan even i have also taken education loan to complete my engineering and if you are taking some good amount of education loan you also have to pay emis and you have you have to take care of your family members and many more right so i'm going to tell you some of the steps how a tier 2 tier 3 college student can get into the analytics industry and why i am telling you to get because you have an higher chance to get good salary yes there are also other profiles like competitive programming prepare for data structures and algorithm properly you know get into bigger companies like amazon and all there at least you'll be getting some good salary good better salary but at an average salary for data scientist and data analyst is also very very good okay now let me talk about it guys this kind of conversation i had we at i neuron had with many many people you know and everybody they used to directly come our seniors are basically saying that no prepare for software engineering it is not possible to get into data science right guys i'll give you one tip when you are in your third year engineering college when you are in your final year engineering college do as many as internship as you can do as many as internship you can I have seen one of my subscriber. He had done four internship till he passed out of the college, and he was from a tier three college altogether. In the first internship, he he was not paid. In the second internship, he was paid some amount of money. In the third internship, also he was paid out some amount of money. So he, how, what did he do? And he started doing the internship from his third year. He was from a tier three college. Third year, fourth year, full of internships, and as soon as he passed out, and before passed out, he had he had actually got an offer letter from a company as a junior data scientist. Now many people will say, "Krishna, no, it is not possible. They don't take freshers. Somewhere they you also say in job profile they ask at least two plus years. Guys, I know in job profile they ask two plus years as a data scientist." but there are also position with respect to junior data scientists and there if somebody is giving you a data science because see people from tier 2 or tier 3 college they usually get a software engineering job profile you know if you go for off campus if you go for any kind of uh, interviews most of the time they get it but if you have that internship experience if you have giving that particular experience in your offer letter trust me you will be getting now that person that subscriber who did his internship from third year till this final year he did 3 3 months internship and he had written in his resume one year experience with respect to data science then obviously he deserves to become a data analyst or data scientist i had one of my subscriber again he did 6 year 6 months internship from i neuron you know and he was actually able to get a data analyst profile not junior data analyst profile directly data analyst profile so what we have done again i'm going to repeat this we have come up with this internship thing 
this i need an internship so that is the reason guys don't get disheartened if you are from tier three college saying that krish no none of the companies are coming to our college to hire us guys we are giving you an opportunity participate in the internship in my previous video which i have actually uploaded detaily that comment i'll 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 put that youtube link in the comment section i'll pin it you can go and check it out how to participate in the internship and all and many people also had questions krish um uh, what about business analytics projects what about data analysis projects guys it is getting uploaded you know so probably in a couple of days i'll also make that particular announcement and you will be able to see 500 plus projects with respect to data and uh, data analyst or business analytics also right and there you'll be also getting a lot of example projects solved projects also example you'll also be getting that will also be coming and as we go ahead different different projects will come in the future big data projects may come in the future we are also planning to come up with some data structures algorithm um software development things so that you'll get that particular experience too so guys if you are from college if you are still in your third year second year just participate in this internship participate in a group call your friends participate so that you get that experience because here the projects that is being developed it's an amazing product so that kind of problem statement we have actually kept right so don't get disheartened and this was to one of my subscriber who recently posted this question to me saying that krish i belong to a tier 2 or tier 3 college i want to really get into data science but still my senior thinks that software engineering is a better profile yes okay it's fine so you can go with software engineering also i'm telling you if you are getting an opportunity of software engineering and suppose if you don't get data scientist or data analyst still go with software engineering because initially you really need to get experienced but if you are following this approach of first of all doing a lot of internships showcasing that writing blogs trust me there is a high probability when the recruiter sees your resume and if they sees that from the college time you have done so many amazing projects trust me you'll have a higher chances right this is the thing why i really wanted to make a video and that is the problem that what we are looking at i neuron guys we are seeing in the market why that gap is there why can't a fresher why can't a non technical person become a data scientist and again you'll find many people saying that okay just focus on your target on your goals keep on working and whatever job you get please take it up this is very much important for college students you know because we also don't know like how much time you may take to clear a data science interview also okay so <clears throat> this was it from my side guys just in a couple of days more projects are going to come in this internship portal and if you really want to know how to participate in this the link will be given in the comment section so this was it from my side i hope you like this particular video please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one dot bye bye